Hello, and welcome to a Metasploit Pro demo. We will be walking through some task chain enhancements that were made recently in Metasploit Pro. Let's get started. Here we are in the Metasploit Pro homepage. We have our projects listed here, and today we're going to be looking at our Tomcat project. You can see in this project, we've got one host that was discovered with seven vulnerabilities identified. Two sessions were open and one credential pair was stolen. Because today we're going to be focusing in on task chain enhancements, let's go right to the task chain area of the interface. We go up to tasks and then down to chains. A task chain is a way to effectively automate work that you might do during a pen test engagement and have subsequent steps use data identified in previous steps to complete an engagement from start to finish, or at least get a good start on an engagement and gather the information you need, maybe obtain credentials or sessions, generate a report, close it out. You can do a number of things with task chains, and I'll just walk through some of the things at a high level real quick before we get into the new features. This is the task chain interface, and you can see when we go to add a new step in a chain or a new link in the chain, we have the items arranged from start to finish in a general sense. You can either scan, uh, do an import, import from Nexpos, you can start with brute force and then from there start doing things like exploit, collect evidence, do the cleanup, run a report, uh, maybe run a meadow module, which is a, another great pro feature. And then we have some new features that we're going to talk about today, one of which is resource scripts, and the next is push to Nexpos. So you can see here, we're going to start this task chain off by giving it a name, and I'm going to call this Tom Caddy. And what we're going to do is start with an import from Nexpos or Insight VM. In this case, we already have an Insight VM console linked, and all I have to do is select it. It will go and generate the connection, and then show me the sites that are available to use. Today, I'm going to be using the Metasploit Tomcat site. It has one asset and four known volumes currently, and I'm going to pull that data in from Insight VM into Metasploit Pro. That's it. That's all I have to do to get that step set up. So now Metasploit will be pulling data in from Nexpos or Insight VM. And I'm going to add another step here. And this is another new feature. And that is resource scripts. Now, resource scripts have existed in the Metasploit framework for a number of years. And what they are is essentially Ruby code that allows you to interact with hosts or other pieces of the system and perform anything that you can do with the rights that you have with Ruby code. So really, the, the sky's the limit. Um, you can do sort of special, uh, very detailed scans. You can do filtering on hosts that you're pulling in. You can try to identify services. Uh, any number of things that you can imagine you can do with Ruby, even something like maybe encrypting a file or changing a protocol. Um, but today, what we're going to be focusing in on is what we're calling just a Tomcat exploit. One other thing about resource scripts that I failed to mention is that you also have not only the ability to interact with the environment, but also with the Metasploit Pro database, which means any of the hosts, sessions, loot, credentials, you can write directly to the database from a resource script. And so let's just take a quick look at this resource script. Here at the top, we have the ability to pass parameters in. In this case, this script doesn't need any parameters as it will just interact with the database and perform the functions that it know, knows it needs to perform. If you have a resource script that says, say you need to pass an environmental variable or something custom into, you can do that using this field here. And then here, below, you can see we have the contents of the script. And it basically just starts off some jobs. It does a little bit of a scan here using Nmap. And then it starts to look for hosts and services. And it attempts to find uh, hosts that are running Tomcat. Now here at the bottom, what we've done is, is in this example is said, we deploy Tomcat servers internally for our developers to use. And when we deploy them, they have a set of credentials that we send out by default. And we expect our developers to change them once they have them up and running. And so with this one, if they haven't, we will use the default credentials to attempt to, attempt to start a interpreter session uh, using bind TCP and the default credentials. And so from there, what will end up having, happening is we will get sessions for any one of these hosts that has not changed the password. And so that's all we have to do to include a resource script into this task chain. But to really round things out and sort of finish the process, what I'm going to do now is add a push to Nexpos to this. And you can see all I have to do is basically select it. It knows which, ones I'm pulling, which one I'm pulling from. 
and it will essentially take all of the data that we found and push it back into Nextpros. And so let's go ahead and save and run this now. And while this is running, I'm going to jump up. There we go. It's been scheduled and it will start in less than a minute. You can see we have a new task here. Tomcat is going. Now let's take a look at our Nextpros console and see what we have there. I'm going to go ahead and log in. All right, and you can see here I am on one of my hosts in my Nextpros console. And in this host, you can see that we found, and Metasploit has been able to verify, that the default Tomcat username and password are used. And so anywhere in your environment, if you were to have one of these Tomcat servers running with the default credentials, you can use the import from Nextpros, resource script, and then push back into Nextpros to automate that test and have it run nightly or weekly or even you know twice a day if you want. But these, these tools all together can really make it simple to pull in vulnerabilities from Nextpros, validate them, and get very, very specific and detailed, and then push them back into Nextpros with the assurance that Metasploit has indeed been able to verify them. That has been the Metasploit Pro demo for task chain enhancements. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, any questions, feel free to reach out on our forum. Uh, thank you and have a great day.